extra. My name is Precious Enyi. I don't land for an Adamato like Land Rover this morning to bring on some kind of matter. They will go give on some thinking. Akonuchi. And today, I carry better land on top of the month because we won't talk about things we concern me, especially as it gets to do with liquid cash. That's the matter we'll be so won't talk about. But before I let you in on the person we be I get for inside studio, you know, waiting, make a go drink water drop cup when I come. Re-energize, gather my energy, I go come begin yano na the matter, one by fellow. Stay with us, I dish you back. Welcome back now. Top the good morning, Nigeria show extra now. You day like this as I talk and before my name na precious any. So today for inside the show, we won't look at economic empowerment. Mm. How we fit empower you economically. Or how you fit the empowered economically, eh? You see, and because the way the economy they go like this, eh, um, if everybody no find empowerment, eh, it go bad. Not be smart. So now we make we even discuss this matter. We get to do with economic empowerment, and this kind of matter. Not be waiting. Be saying me, I go feel talk by myself. Uh, now we make me bring Ogbunge person. We be saying himself. I be waiting concern economic matter. Well, well, and himself. Now person be saying they analyze business and other things. Then he get the facts and figures. Then right. Well, well. Oga Mukhtar Mohammed D. Oga Mukhtar Chai. Oga Mukhtar. Don't do you. Everywhere I go, I call you. I the answer me. Thank you so much. Now precious. <laughs> Don't call me that anyway. They call me. Don't call me. <laughs> Welcome, Oga Mukta. Yes. So, Oga Mukta, sharply, people go want know waiting. Waiting be economic empowerment. When they say economic empowerment, waiting it mean? If you help us break and down to the simple person, maybe for few understand well, them. When they talk about economic empowerment, mm -hmm. it be a situation whereby um, economic empowerment it can go in two ways now. Mm -hmm. Now, if it be when people empower you, maybe government empower you. Mm. Or economy empowerment also feel be when you through your skill and uh, various things where you do you empower yourself. So definitely now those ones be economic empowerment and it could come mm. in various forms of economic empowerment. Mm. So when I empower what, myself and when um, you know the skills where I get become an empowerment, empowerment. to myself. You see, you mm. can empower yourself now. One of the ways you can empower yourself, you earn money. Mm. Instead of you to eat that money, you take the money put into other ventures and go come multiple stream of income. Mm. That means you create a economy empowerment for yourself. Say, if this way is not better, I will go this other way. Now, part of oh, empowerment. Oh, so economic empowerment now, that means, it, from what you explain now, that means now where we busy people feel ensure, say, then cajad on two ways where they use make, make money. Make money, empowerment. That means you are, mm. you are, you are not dependent. Mm. You have empowered yourself. So, uh, you, so you can do what you want to do at when you want to do it. Uh, but now, it takes a lot of process to get there. Nobody saying now uh, overnight. Mm -hmm. But the, basically, when you talk about economy empowerment, it's either you, you do it by yourself, like what I don't talk, or government empower you. Now, government will empower you by giving you something, make you they do maybe skill, true skills acquisition. When you take that skill, you take that skill, they run your business. That means now government economic empowerment. Economic empowerment, if you even come from private initiative, somebody went and gather people, so okay, I want to teach these people skill so that they can be able to be self-sufficient for themselves. Mm -hmm. Basically, economy empowerment means you are empowered economically. You get money. Get money. To take care of what you mm -hmm. want. And not be say, way. if you lose that job now, you don't lose hope. Yes. So other hope, they will lose. Other hope, they, because from that job, money when you make, you take out. Oh, is it thing. too safe to say that economic empowerment and a renewed hope economically? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. All right. Okay. So now when you don't talk at now, some people go feel just the one that say, um, you know, um, we get any kind of economic empowerment for inside Nigeria, economical empowerment for inside Nigeria. If we get, uh, what will be the different types of economic empowerment we get for Nigeria? Well, <laughs> we get mm. now some na private individuals, mm. some na government initiative. Mm. Uh, when you talk about that, you sometimes go see a senator go say. I don't give a keke napep to some of my people from my constituency. Oh, that's an empowerment. An empowerment. Mm. They know, so it's made in day so that they will fit. Mm. They make a living make for money. themselves. Mm. But you know, they get one funny empowerment be happened some years ago when Ben West State Governor saying they give people we barrow. <laughs> you say, you remember that empowerment? <laughs> You see, so that they will take the carry yam from, from, from farm to, to the cell. So, those those ones are part of empowerment. No mm. matter how you see. Sometimes before now, you know, some people used to give a kada. Mm. 
They say they empower people with Okada, maybe they feel any living. Until government can say they don't ban Okada, national, national ban on Okada because of terrorism. This one is not part of empowerment. Hey, but they say don't stop at terrorism. No, can even go there, Jerry. Nobody then wants to again, see. you get market women. Okay. They, they do empowerment too. Okay. Sometimes the market women empowerment, they're funny. You know, I, 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 I say, some people they call them Mosusu. Okay. When they go, Ajo. Ajo. They go come together. They go say, okay, this month, now you go carry this carry one. That is contribution. Contribution. Mm. So you go take and start, take and grow your business monthly, you go they pay. Mm. Mm. That's not part of empowerment. Mm. Because you go give you more, more capital to use to your business. Your Next business. month will be another person turn. Like so that, like a that. A lot of empowerment, they but. You remember I said government who don't come out with a lot of empowerment. I've been wanting to ask you whether trade that money in empowerment. I was just sitting there in my mouth. I said, mention market, market women. So I've been wanting to see whether trade that money in empowerment. Precious, you shall be fine trouble, Shah. Hey, what do I do? You know, say when it comes to trade that money, we don't want to talk about that one because trade that money is supposed to be empowerment mm. in the sense that, but that kind of empowerment, sometimes there are empowerment that are not free. But there are some economic empowerment that are free. Like when I talk about the KK and the when some senators, some house of rep, they give, sometimes they'll say empowerment, education, they'll pay school fees for WAEC and all those things. Those ones are economic empowerment because their parents don't get the money to pay. So when those children go to school, they are empowered economically. But when you look at trader money, you know how that money works. Federal banks say money they want to give traders, make them grow their business and everything, and they go pay back. But with it today, we don't know how many people don't pay back. And that one, you know, say they do them during the uh, election period. So, it was part of empowerment, but we we'll call it political empowerment. Mm, okay, okay. So, um, so all this empowerment now, how sustainable? The ones we don't mention, we did. Then they sustainable. Yeah. To use you see, person. when it comes to empowerment, you get what I call structural empowerment. Now, my own language with that. Structural empowerment. That one, I did sustainable. What do you mean structural empowerment? Skill. Where you take people go school, made in landscape, carpentry, mm. uh, tiler, um, dry vibing, mm. uh, farming. Those ones now are structural empowerment because those people can be able to stand on their own. Mm. But most Nigerian empowerment, like the people they give Kaken Napel to, the empowerment, if you feel maintainer. You know, some people, when they think you'll get accident, they not get insurance, it's not insured. They think get problem, they not fit because the money in the hand to mouth money. But you get some people when you go use one keke when they empower them with before you know they don't get two or three based on say they feel use those. So those ones are empowerment too. Those are structural empowerment. Empowerment that you 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 you, you have a skill, you have a, a job, something that you can use your hand to do with or without. But there are other the kind of empowerment we would like for this country. Then be the political one, mm. and the one with the cost stomach infrastructure. Ouch! That one too, they go say na empowerment, mm. but that one na empowerment for the now. And it be like say na that empowerment na Nigerians like pass. So you think say, all this empowerment don't create opportunities to people and their communities and, and communities? Any of this empowerment? Too, well, yes. You you know um, if you remember. There was a time when government said that they help some small, small businesses. They don't grow. Remember RX 200, when CBN, they talked that time, say they don't empower them. Mm. So most of them feed on the export crop outside. Remember farmers, the time when I came to me, additional day mm. empowerment, when they said they begin to get fertilizer. Mm. You know, so you can say there have been some successful empowerment. But even if you say some of these empowerments are loaded with a lot of things like corruption. Mm. Sometimes, especially when Like the last CBN one followed, the last one CBN do for farmers and for rice farmers. Exactly. Mm. Till today we see the rice pyramid for Abuja. <laughs> after that one, we don't see them for anywhere again. And rice can't go up after we see the rice pyramid. And see, now rice, they go up. Rice, they go up. Mm. So definitely those are part of what we call political empowerment. Mm. And those ones are always, they, they go to the few. Few people now they get those empowered. But like that job when we talk about mm. Osusu, you see, realize say, a lot of people still do that and they, they empower them going forward mm. and they can expand their businesses. Mm. Be because, because when we talk again mm. about the other one, we talk about learning hand work. Mm. Some people don't be empowered by that one, they don't they do work. People they give them work, then they do. Some people they when they don't be by farmer, when they empower, they give them uh, 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 
fertilize them or give them some money when they would take buy seedling to plant for their farms. They don't empower them, so they don't use them. So, Empowerment, they plenty. Mm. So, you know, so as you talk this one, I can't imagine when we talk about this, Ususu and Ajaw matter again, I can't imagine, say, entrepreneurs and small businesses, they self, they get their own contribution, what do they make for inside empowerment? Of course, now you give somebody a job, you don't empower them now. You take care of your family if you are an entrepreneur. The whole idea about entrepreneur is all about opportunity and profit. And once opportunity and profit comes, then there is earnings. Mm. For those people that so, so so for this empowerment to ABC maybe entrepreneurs and small scale businesses feed do, um you get then how sustainable then really they now something where you say you get mechanisms where they put in way we feel put in place to make sure say uh, we continue to the dwell more. Yes, but you more. see the thing they for 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 maybe civilized society, you know yeah about Ford Foundation is still dating now. Uh, Rockefeller Foundation mm -hmm. is still dating now. Uh, Walmart Foundation is still dating now. You know, you see some companies go just come electric, electric, uh, MG, General Electric Foundation. Some mm. companies don't do such fun. Mm. We get Dangote Foundation, do you remember? Yes. When in, in Dota they handle. We mm. get uh, uh, Two Fellows Danjuma Foundation too. All those ones now, foundation when they help entrepreneur grow. Mm. So there are some of those foundations that are there. You talk about Ford Foundation, even if of recent we say one pastor used that Ford Foundation, dupe members. So you see, those are part of places that they have been able because they what they make and they easy for the mind tell and say, ah, these people will give you money to start up. So those are part of this. But for Nigeria, we don't have so much of them yet. But again, where I would now talk about structure, sometimes we have them. When somebody did politics, when it be the senator, when it be the governor, when it be the you know speaker of House of Rep, if you go to Surule, they say you get a lot of empowerment scheme when uh, Bajabi and Milabi do for them. So all but the problem with them, some of those empowerment schemes not they sustainable. But by the time Bajabi and Mila now not be speaker, you not be member of us, even if you be chief of staff to the president, you go say you not really get those resources to the empowering people again. So. Those, the kind of empowerment we meet now, the kind of Dangote uh, Foundation empowerment, which we say now profit from the companies that are running, nobody say if they come from my, uh, if you look at the political empowerment, if they come from his salary and allowances. But so, sustainable empowerment must come from a source of business, like the Ford Foundation. This will don't go since, but their, their foundation see they provide for the well being of a lot of people, not only in the United States, globally. So. Those are the type of the foundations that have been sustainable. Mm. But in Nigeria, we have them, sometimes in the rural area, there are, there are people that you don't know, that they don't make so much noise, that have empowered people, even in the East, in the, in the Niger Delta, and all the, a lot of those empowerment schemes are there, especially in the oil uh, community. Mm. Some of these companies, when you get sense, they, they empower the people mm. in one area or the other. Mm. So is there a particular sector where they more liable to economic empowerment? That I would like to make a response to um, after this brief, because I want to understand whether it is possible to see if we get a particular sector where you know, they more, get more potential for economic empowerment so that people will begin to look towards, okay, make a look where I go concentrate my attention on. But that one will be after this break when they come back. Stay with us. <music> Welcome back, Nancy Lanton. Good morning, Nigeria Show Extra. Now, you day. Before we go on break, uh, we'll be seeing the talk with um, Oga Mokhtar Mohammed, and we they look at economic empowerment for Nigeria. And then, don't I break down plenty of them for us, including the individual owner, corporate organizations owner, and even government owned them. But, you know, I've been asked, say, we go like, no, whether you did any sector. Way it be say now them way be say it did them for body. So if I did this sector, I know say I, I get more needs to get. I did I, I more. I get more potential for economic empowerment for that sector. I think there are two sector: mm. agriculture and technology. Hey, yeah. tech. Tech. Now mm. their empowerment. Why? Here. Why you think so? Uh, why you because talk so? tech. When we, let me we look at tech. Mm. Tech now. Now be the in thing. Now everybody they do. Anything, even for the agricultural empowerment, you need tech. Remember, I talked about uh, the former minister, Kimumi Adeshino, when mm. he used tech, when they take get fertilizer for farmers mm. and all mm. those things, before I do become a scatterer. So there's a lot, those ones too, because now technologies, and it would be beauty about tech home. You say, you feed day here for Lagos, 
you see they do something for people when they're outside the Lagos, maybe even outside the shore of this country. So that side, they get a lot of opportunities in terms of empowerment, whether through training. Remember the time when uh, uh, Meta, Met, Meta, now Facebook, to now do, Facebook yeah. do a lot of empowerment for people too. So all those things, they come. So it depends on where um, it is. They, so tech, agriculture. Tech, agriculture. Agriculture, you see, say, for this country, one business, when they, they boom, whether they imagine this small or not, not agriculture. Because people uh, must chop food. People must chop food. Mm. And those days, we used to get a lot of agricultural empowerment scheme. Mm. But now it's still there, but maybe the implementation is, is more political than. That you, you talk, we talk about the CBN. Remember the TBN be intervened for, for, for rice, intervened mm, for mm, wheat. Mm. I think intervened even for cassava and all those things. All those things are part of the opportunity they, when they go empower you because empowerment not mean only to you. Because once they empower you, they expect you may, you, may you be able to provide one services. Now mm. be the type of empowerment. That's why I'm saying that those ones now what they call structural empowerment. Empowerment when you go make you provide service. Not empowerment when they will put money for your hand. You take and chop. You know what he will talk, say, teach me how to fish rather than always give giving me, me fish. fish. So mm. it depends. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, so I've been one ask so that this one so you don't mention now for tech and um, agriculture. Are there ways where you know where people feel begin, you know, take advantage of these industries to begin enter inside them? So yes, there are many ways. Uh, if you look at the tech own, it's not a global phenomenon. If you get a product. Mm -hmm. You try to sell it to the world through all the social media and those mm -hmm. people and don't come up product, advertise them for social media, and that product don't become what everybody wants for this country. So for me, that's another good yeah, mm -hmm. this thing. When you talk about, about agriculture, we can talk a lot of governments say they want to diversify the economy, private citizens to say they want to do a lot into agriculture. So those part also they 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 work well. Why can't you take advantage of it? If you not get land, you know if you say you want to empower you. empower you. Mm -hmm. Because one thing happened one day, uh, I, I did church. Somebody called to say, in one do, in get motorcycle. They, they said, OK, come, you day here. You don't get motorcycle. You say you want to buy the second motorcycle. The person won't even come out. Nobody even buy one motorcycle. But in come, say, in the one start motorcycle business. But not until they say they want that. They want somebody when they don't get motorcycle. Mm. So you want to improve upon that motorcycle. So what they to us is, if you want me to help you, you two must do your own part, especially in the area of agriculture. You know, we're expressing that they're going to give you land, make you come So those are part of the things that you need to do so that when those opportunity comes, you go even grab them. Somebody say preparation, I'll be the eye when you see opportunity. Because if I look for farmer now, you don't get farm. Not the theory I want now. now. Not practical, I want. Okay, all right. So, um, is there anybody where you know will be an example of a person where you don't get this economic empowerment? Anybody where you know will be either through agriculture or tech because people go like one know whether okay, I've been I just just to hear the gist. No, 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 no. A lot of, I, I know a lot of people went on, went on, okay. went on, they empowered by that scheme, especially the one we we'll talk about in the area of agriculture, mm. the one we we'll talk about in the area of uh, tricycle, you know, we call Kakena Pep. Even at that time, I know a lot of people went on the empower. So, and I see how those people don't use that in take off. For the tech thing, yes, I've seen a lot of people went on the empower. Because part of tech thing now, you realize say, everything and an app we they use. We get people don't create app when they make goods and services go easy for people. Mm. You remember, say, also part of empowerment to financial inclusion. Mm. That is why you see, say, somebody now don't become money agent, POS operator, mm. and all those things. So, mm. A lot of people like and that. Plenty well, well. Yeah. Okay, so we'll look at something like financial literacy. Um, something like financial literacy, like teaching people about money matter well, well. Is it possible to see the thing feel make them uh, they less, you know, self-reliant as it be, so that they go fit the entrepreneurially independent? Yeah, they when you talk about financial literacy, they, there are not two keys. Not three keys they run for financial literacy. You go help us explain them now. One key now, earning ability. Okay. Your ability to earn. To earn money. To earn money. Okay. Second. That means you must get multiple skills. You go make you, you earn money. Get some that is, you go get different services. Services where you, where you, earn, you mm. earn money. Okay. Second, your second skill now be savings. From okay. what you earn. You, you save. save. Mm. Then your third, a, a financial literacy now be investment. Mm. So, when you earn money, 
What do you they do with your money? But some people, when they look, make I give you some people organogram and spend and spend and spend. So you cannot be financially empowered by that kind of means. Now, financial literacy is all about teaching you how to earn, how to save, and how to invest. So if you get that literacy class, you know, say you must earn. After you earn, the first thing you do, you must save. Inside of your savings, when you grow your savings, then you try to invest. Because if you save a loan, you know, they invest and to grow. Inflation you know, they make more money. Yeah, so inflation, inflation will call rubbish that your savings again. Your savings hey. So, and you know, say inflation and be the monster. So, but financial literacy itself is the ability to earn money, the ability to save money, the wisdom to invest those money for multiplication. Okay, inside. so for inside that wisdom now, I know so we don't the deal more financial literacy now, but I like to understand for inside that wisdom part now, they go fit, is it possible say person go feel learn profitable ways of investment? Wait, be say, I'm not going to put my money in and then later, the money don't <laughs> get like worker. You know, so they say all investments are risk. Exactly, that's <laughs> number one. But yeah. number two, again, I they always say all investment are risk, but not calculated risk. Mm. You not just feel because it's all investment and rich, you just go enter through your money. Then you must look at the rich. It's not rich when I really want carry. I've been at risk when I know fit carry it my, mm. my, my listing. So when we talk about the investment rich, number one, you must have knowledge. Not be ponzi. You know, say the one when they rain for Nigeria, when you talk about investment, not quick, quick money. Investment not be quick return. Investment not near time and future growth. Uh, you go explain that one well, well again because some people know near understand time, that one. Say, mm. Any investment you want, you must give them like one to five years. Hey, to see how people won't get 100% in six it's, months. In six months. So that's the challenge. That's why you say a lot of people, they lost their money. Because mm. when you took that six months thing, it'd be like three. So the more people come in, they go feel pay you. Once mm. people stop to come in, you don't feel get your money again. again. So and people when, must stop at some point, right? Yes, of course. Now, because some people go want cash out now. I don't make so much money. I want cash out. So now they have the problem. They always come. So my advice of is that look for the nominal type of investment. Whether you want to invest in business, you need to have knowledge about that business. When you want to invest in anything, investment, you, the first thing you say, build your knowledge on those things. Not be saying that no investment is an overnight success. And like you say, investment come with its own risk. And the higher the return, the higher the risk. Oh, the more profit we then tell you say you go feel make the more the risk will be. Yes, so that means yes. the more likely you fit even lose your whole capital. Job, exactly. Pata, pata. So people need to understand this so that no, they go put their money. That's why some people go tell you, say, I go rather put my money for service account. Maybe they give me what you know, bit inflation, but mm. I know that they see my money. Mm. Then go into business today, that money if you go up tomorrow, if you so, so just a bit of deviation now. What does it make it seem say people like to put money for that place? We say they know, say, it they risk you, but as long as they see plenty profits, 100%, 50% in one month or in five months or in six months or in one year, when they know, say, them by themselves, it ha that's not supposed to be risky, but they take the risk. What does it say be the cause or the reason why people go they willing to take, take such risk? Pressure is not poverty now. Hey. What to eat? Hmm. Nine so na poverty they bring that greed. Na poverty they bring that greed because you are not looking, you are not you just want oh where can I make money and I make a people provide for my people. Hmm. So the people they went no. That's why you say if you come now precious, if you get business now you go meet some people when they supposed to invest, say, okay, this is my business when I want to introduce you to it go take like two or three years so before you go begin make money. They don't go great good one. Hmm. But if you go tell me say, okay, this business Today, tomorrow, you're going to begin making fifteen percent. See, everybody go rush follow you mm. because waiting that they look for now, waiting to eat now, make them go into investment. Okay. Investment is supposed to be what you look forward to in the near future. That's why you see the pension fund administrator. They will tell you say until you reach a particular age before they give you percentage of your money until you use a particular age before they give you the other percentage of your money because they are looking at sustainability and growing those wealth over time so that they come a time when we say, you know, if you work like you did work before, that is when those money they make sense. All right, make a bus more break. When we come back, we will look whether financial education will feel help people to come to that kind of thinking for their head. May they know the right decision to take next time concerning their money. That one will be after this break. Stay with us. <laughs> Wow, 
Welcome back. Now, still on top of the Good Morning Nigeria show, Extra Now We Day. And before we go on break, we'll be to talk with Ogam Mukhtar Mohammed. And Ogam Mukhtar don't make us understand this economic empowerment tool they talk about. They don't explain the different types of us. We don't even go enter inside, you know, um, uh, financial literacy. How person feel understand the things and we be seeing need to understand concerning how to spend money. You don't even tell us the different parts and we're inside. But Ogam Mukhtar, I've been asking you before the break whether. Um, financial um you know to advise people about money you get a role to play to help educate them on how to properly place their investments yes. if you say financial education get a role to play you know somebody say formal education we earn you a living informal education we earn you a fortune now informal education when we talk about mm. and be financial literacy mm. because Nowhere for school when they teach you financial literacy. Anyway. So waiting they teach you for school now be the formal education when you make you earn a living. Mm. So you now you need to develop yourself in financial literacy. Mm. You see, some of the tell people say finance be like um, be like marriage. You know, not have a marriage, they say you go don't collect the certificate before mm. you be enter the marriage. On that day they will give you marriage certificate. That day go go before you start the trial, ah, before you enter the class. class they don't give you certificate. So now so be, be financial uh, literacy. Once you begin to earn your money, you need to know what to do with it. Because they don't, you don't earn money. Now living with that. What thing you will take that your living do now go earn your fortune. So that's why I talk about that time. You say, when you talk about financial literacy, it's just tied to three main areas. Sometimes I'm going to say four. Because they say if you not make them four, how go take no at the job. Mm. But the fourth one, they always come last. Now, me and the first one, the first one, the first one, we we'll talk about, we we'll talk about, uh, talk about ability to earn. To earn. Mm. Secondly, we we'll talk ability to, to save. save. Third, we we'll talk ability to invest. invest. Then fourth, we we'll talk. The fourth one, people they always know they like talk. When we meet, they like ability to spend. <laughs> but look, 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 look at that. So with how that. you take spend again? You see, you see, that mm. I come with that cycle. Now I earn. I save, I, save, I, I invest, invest, so I, I spend. spend. I spend. So sometimes my spending will be say, okay, I bring my salary. I, I don't earn money. Mm. The first one I do, I save. Then I invest. Then the minimum balance now I go spend. Mm. My salary, my strategy will be say, I earn, I save, I invest. The return from my investment now I go spend. Mm. But all, all, but. The spending come last. But some people, now like this, now only two lines they get. I, I earn, earn, I spend. I spend. <laughs> it's just that this will not be the case for almost all Nigeria. Yeah, this is about, like, ah, Mr. Mokta, don't shake the table. Yeah. But this will be like, say, eh, it just they call our names without calling our names because yeah. it's just that not be everybody for Nigeria. Now in the end, and spend, instead of earning, um, investing, sorry, earning, uh, saving, and if, how many people get saving? You see, should be remember, say CBN been talking once, say not up to 95% of Nigeria, uh, sorry, um, less than uh, 5% of Nigerians now get up to 500,000 naira for their accounts. Okay, make I give 500, you 500,000. May I tell you something about these things? This thing is not habit, it's not depending on how much you earn. Some people, they, they earn 10,000. Some of them will even they save 10 naira. That's just 1% of it. Hmm. Because what we don't see for financial cycle, we say, the money when you feel safe, you can still do without it. Hmm. But you know we we'll know because you never even try to see. Because by the time you sit down, look at your expenditure, realize that you do some very, very careless expenditure. Hmm. This some way you're not supposed to spend where you spend. Where you spend, because why? You don't even get a definite plan for your money. Mm. The problem with 90% of us, not the only, you see, now when the money comes, now they think of what to do with it. Ah, some people they spend their money before they even come. So you see them. Um, Just like most scatter by school, we'll never buy we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll, we'll buy for drink. But ordinarily, they get one say when they talk, they say, make you spend your money on paper. Mm. No you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Write them down. You don't, make before the money comes, you know what to spend that money. So, with that one, I go say, send the money on an errand. Mm. Not just allow the money just there because nothing is vacuum in this world. So, you must be very cautious and intentional 
about your money. Some people are so intentional about what they eat. They are not even intentional about their savings, their money. Some people are so intentional about watching what they go, movie, all those things they want to go and do. They have plan for it. Oh, today I go, this, this, this. but they never have plan on where my money come, what do I want my money to generate? So those are financial literacy. Hmm. And the challenge with Nigeria, we say, most of this financial literacy, they need to come free. And hey, because I suppose I'd be want to ask you whether this does suppose even make part of this financial emp economic empowerment. Because if I empower somebody, I suppose also teach the person financial literacy so that he go know how to I see the end money through the empowerment, make you know how to save, invest, and also know how to spend according to waiting remain for them. The problem with that thing is say, Nigeria don't they like to pay for financial literacy. If you say, what do you want to tell me? I know what you do, I want to do with my money. What do you want to tell me? Say, make I can't do with my money. Now you work with the money. That's a big problem. Because for those developed society, most of them, they work with financial coach throughout their life to pay their debt, to earn. They, they, they do that because nothing comes free. So, but the problem with this country is that we don't get used to free things. So you just say, ah, what did they teach me when they want to collect money from my hand? Because you feel say the money is too small. There's somebody saying one collector for my hand, make it, make it, it teach me. No, leave my money. I'm okay. I know what, I, you don't tell me how to spend my money. Mm. <laughs> okay, but now, for all this thing we get to do with economic empowerment, you get any role where tech get to play? Ah, now tech with Baba. Uh -huh. When they talk about uh, savings, when they talk about investment, mm. how tech don't play? You know, say these days we get up. Yes. Almost everything now get up. So a lot of people did now, I don't want to advertise for some people. You know, say, get them when they, don't, they don't develop up when we say, mainly their money come, they don't, they don't mandate the money to move. To another place. To another place. That's mm. what technology does. So help. without your help, self, without you prompting it, it That's what we call, make it automatic. Mm. Because what we have seen is that if you make it automatic, it's very difficult for you to not want to do it. But the problem we've mm. had in, in, in mostly Nigeria, not only Nigeria everywhere, is that when you say, oh, when they pay me, I go carry and go pay, enter that my account. Or I go, you go enter my first account before I go my second account. Hmm. But tech don't help us. So you just give mandate either to your bank or anybody. And they still learn your, the, the place where you want to make it. Without you even seeing it, you only get the alert, say, don't enter that place. And some people, they go far. You know what they do? That account, when they take save, and they, they don't get ATM, they don't get anything. So they don't want so like no go feel they spend that many hands. Mm -hmm. So you get any more way be say um, uh, digital innovations go feel to feel leverage on them to create more more like more inclusive economic opportunities for Nigerians. I just tell you one uh, mm. when you mandate your account on to they move something. So so with that it will help empower it us. Will again. Help empower mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there any policies where be say you fit recommend for us? Uh, our systemic, systematic changes will go fit use, uh, will go fit help overall. Number one, I don't tell you, make them automatic. Mm. If you want to move to power empowerment, you must make sure that everything when you earn, mm. you don't just spend it. Mm. You try to save and then invest. And you can make this thing automatic. And like I said, I'll go back again. Mm. Now, app, now everybody they use make things easy for themselves. Mm. So instead of you to say, okay, till I go bank, before I get my money, go pay for another bank, just mandate your app. You remember say again one time we say if I open an account for Abuja, if the account get a problem, I have to go to Abuja. Yes, so there was a time. But like now that. no matter the branch no matter, you even open. some don't even make them say those who even get foreign branch. If you go to the foreign branch you get it goes it it goes synchronized. Mm. So mm. those are so things and when we say tech don't do tech don't help but I, I, again just before we go I like to know whether I get any rule way um, will we play in constant education, educating the people to, to use, make sure, say, because what do you make idea worried about this one now? You feel, say, all of these things where you talk now, not be just theoretical for Nigerian environment. So you no. don't feel, say, our society, they to get, they get as it be, where it be, say, maybe we're going to need to teach people too constantly for them to put all these things for their head. Teaching, day. Mm. But it all depends on you. Okay. You can teach you everything, now you didn't earn the money. Okay. Now you know what you want to the money, do whether to empower yourself or you just want to eat them on your latter okay. years, you begin to live hand to mouth or you begin to live on your children when you know even feel you're not able to pay the school fees to them. Okay. So it's all depending on individuals. 
There are a lot of individuals that have done it, that have beaten the bank of poverty because they got the knowledge and then they used the knowledge to empower themselves. And today they are out of it. So the problem we have in this country is that a lot of people just think, I don't even don't earn enough to feed. Why are they thinking of investment? Hey, but people will they have cycle, to manage now. For you to break that cycle, mm. you must try to invest. Because if you don't invest, you know if you break that cycle. Hey, but how go invest when you say the money self no reach? The people will be say as they collect their salary, before the salary don't come, they don't borrow and finish. That is the problem. How they won't manage. Another thing we say, you must live within your means. Below your means, somebody go talk and say. Because somebody say, at least somebody say they say, where they talk and say you must eat three square meals. <laughs> people they eat three square meal anymore. Some people na zero one zero did they do. So but you get out zero one one. You get out they eat zero zero uh, one 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 one. You get some people mm -hmm. when you're in they want it again, they want it again, they want it again. And like I say, make I give you some I give you an answer, precious. You know say before you must make call to talk to somebody. Yes. But now with your data. I communicate with you yesterday. I didn't. I don't call you. <laughs> so that one are part of savings too. Mm, okay, so you don't save that money for call. So, so hey, but the data and money too now. But the data money no go be like the call the money. Call money. Mm. Mm. And that data you go use them for multiple things. Not really that. Not really that. Mm. So, but what do you do? But you know, you need to really sit down. Sometime before now, some people they go places to go visit when they not supposed to go. Oh, just like that. Not make a drive go here. But since first car, you know, people don't manage their work now. So you need to have plan on what you want to do, how to reduce. One thing I not talk about again, we say, mm. for you to break a limit off to you to off that area, you must also have budgeting. Mm. And in budgeting, you will know what you spend every month. Then through that, but you begin to look at what we were not supposed to even use it, and you use. Once you knock up those some of those things. It help you get money to save for other things. So budgeting also be very important. Very ah, okay, Mota, thank you so much. As it don't follow us, Dan. We appreciate you plenty, plenty. You know, see, it always is very insightful, educative, whenever you follow us, consider. And I should say, my people then go down learn plenty things today and they go begin practice and not be only to learn, but they go, go begin put them into work. I appreciate you plenty, plenty as you follow us, Dan, today. Oga Mokta Mohammed, I'm one of the finest uh, analysts, the financial analysts where you get for inside Nigeria. I'd always be proud to talk and work because I know, say, in Sabi, we see they do. Thank you. Thank you as a philosopher. Thank you. All right, my people, make could draw the curtain and close the shop today for inside the show. Eh? My name is Precious Inyi. I will show you the month again another time. Stay with us. Now the good morning Nigeria show videos. Thank you plenty, plenty. <music>